Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can add a Symbols tab to the ribbon in Microsoft Word and then add Symbols to it so that you can one-click access Symbols in Word documents. We're going to start on the Developer tab. Now, if you don't see the Developer tab, you're going to need to choose File and then go to Options. You'll go to Customize Ribbon and make sure that the Developer tab here has a check mark on it. Now, mine is visible. I'm going to click Record Macro and I'm going to make a macro to add the Sense symbol. So I'm going to call this Sense symbol and I'll click Button. Now this takes me to the Word Options to the Quick Access Toolbar. I don't actually want to put it on the toolbar, so I'm just going to click OK for now. Microsoft Word is now recording what I'm doing, so I'm going to the Insert tab. I'll click Symbol. I'm going to click More Symbols. I'm going to make sure that I go to the Normal Text because that's where I'm going to find my Sense Symbol, and I'll locate it here. I'll click it once and click it to insert it into the document. Then I'll click Close. And so here is the Scent symbol inside my document. I'll now go back to the Developer tab and click Stop Recording. And at this stage, I can just remove the Scent symbol from the document because I don't need it there any longer. Now we'll choose File, Options. And I'll go to Customize Ribbon. Now I've already added a tab for my symbols, but if you didn't have one, you could just click here on New Tab and then you can click on it and rename it. I'm just going to call my More Symbols for today just so that you can see what it's going to look like. It will have a new group in it and what we need to do is to add our new macro to that group. So we'll go here and drop down the list and select Macros and you'll find the macro that you have just created. With the new group selected, just click Add and it will be added to that new group. So at this stage, we're going to click on our macro here and click Rename because we just want to call it Sense Symbol. We don't need all the rest of the name in front of it. And then we can click on an icon here that we could use to indicate our symbol. Now, there may not be something here that is exactly the symbol you want to use, but you can probably get close to it. Well, I'm just going to use a sort of money box here because that would be indicative of a sense symbol. I'll click OK and you can see it's now got its little icon there. It's also possible to rename the group that it's in. I'm just going to call them Handy Symbols. So now I'll just click OK. And we'll see here now on the ribbon is a tab called More Symbols and inside it is the Sense Symbol. So let's go and create one additional symbol so that we can have multiples here. I'll go to the Developer tab, click Record Macro. For this one, I want to be able to insert a pound sign. I use that quite a bit. So I'll type pound sign. Macro names need to be all one word. You can't have spaces in them. And I don't believe they can start with numbers either. I'll click button and I'm just going to click cancel because I don't want to add that as a button. I'll go to the insert tab, go to symbol. I'll click more symbols. I'm already in normal text here. So here is the pound symbol. So I'll select it, insert it into the document, click close. Then I'll immediately go back to the Developer tab and click Stop Recording. At this point, I can remove the symbols from my document, but I wouldn't want to do that while I was recording. Otherwise, I would record that deletion into my macro. So my macro is not going to work. Well, it's going to insert a symbol and then remove it, which is not what we want to happen. Now we'll choose File and then Options and go to Customize Ribbon. We don't need to create more symbols because it's already created and you can see here it's already got the Sense symbol in it. So I'm just going to click on the group I want it to place it into. Let's go down to Macros. Here is my pound sign. I'm going to add it. Click on it, rename it and just leave its name as pound sign and then go and find something that I can use as an icon for it. Well, there's a dollar sign, which is sort of pretty close to it. So I'm just going to click that and I'll click OK. And so now more symbols has a pound sign and a cent symbol. 
when I exit Microsoft Word, if I'm prompted to save the normal dot file, I want to say yes because these macros are stored in the normal dot file and you'll need to save it so that they're going to be accessible to other documents in future. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you've learned something about adding symbols to the ribbon in Microsoft Word. If you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint and more.